Hello guys, happy 2018. Morning guys, so <laughs> may or may not have woken up a little bit later than 5am, maybe a few hours later than 5am. Um, so instead of joining the 5am clap club today, I joined the snooze club. We only have three hours today actually, we don't have anatomy, we only have public health and pathology beforehand and, and then a dermatology lecture and that's about it. So today's agenda is just to turn up to those and I've made the work actually last weekend I did the work for pathology already so I didn't have to think about that this morning which was okay for me to sleep in and uh, I needed the rest okay and don't judge. <laughs> I'm meeting up with a friend to uh, go over questions on endocrinology and GI, the GI system, and after then it's just revision really. Um, I have an ECG seminar tomorrow and a workshop, so I've made notes from for it. Um, so I just need to read that because interpreting ECGs are so difficult. And if you ever had to have had to learn ECGs, you know that like, it's not easy. You don't get it the first time. Um, I always say it's about pattern recognition, but um, I think it's partly you need to understand how it works as well. But if you, there's so much physics in it, there's a lot of, um, if you understand the physiology of how the heart, uh, cardiovascular system, how the heart pumps and the electrical currents, then that obviously you need to know that. Um, that's very important. But then I think understanding the physics of it would help as well. But it's very complicated. Um, so, for that reason, it's half pattern recognition, half understanding what's going on. So, yeah, so I've got a lot of resources for that. I've got lots of books for that one specific thing, just interpreting the uh, ECGs because it's that difficult. Um, but yeah, I'll have to go over it later on, and that's about it. exam week so it's Saturday and I'm actually home so I've come home for the weekend because I've had a three-day weekend and I also picked up few shifts the exam was actually really okay. it was very chill I think I've I've been using um so our exams are been mainly all MCQs and I've been using past medicine um to practice questions and they're quite difficult and so I think using that as a revision tool and then do sit in my exams, it was actually quite okay. I was so surprised. Partially it's because the questions that I've been doing together with myself and a friend of mine, we've been doing the medicine finals. So yeah, it was just really nice, it was a nice surprise. And it's a th three hour exam, but because it was MCQs and uh, it was mocks, and so I just did it in two hours. But yeah, so the exam was actually okay. The mock OSCE as well was really good. My station was um, were interpreting a growth chart to a parent who's worried about 
the fact that their child is on the 0.4th uh, percentile in the growth chart and they were worried that it's maybe it's CF and I kind of had to help discuss it with them really not help but discuss it with them uh but yes I'm just gonna go now next week second week of cardio I think no well I'm on I'm on cardiology but the week the theme for next week is rest because we did cardio last week so next week is respiratory system real physiology guys I miss this I miss this um so I'm really excited to get with it and um refresh my memory because I have forgotten a few things but I'm really excited to revisit physiology and do a lot of clinical skills and of course third week I have three a &E shifts scheduled which is crazy exciting I get to pra obviously we'll get to practice a lot of clinical skills and yeah it'll be challenging I think but exciting at the same time right, I'll see you guys